My name is Mwakio Warenli. I'm the teaching and learning coordinator for Diploma in Clinical Medicine and Community Health at Kampala International University School of Allied Health Science. For Diploma, the curriculum for Diploma and students, the course is a three-year course. For the bachelor, it is four years. And uh, for them, mostly for them, there are some other courses which they do more. Apart from the diploma, the bachelor's, up, that is like an upgrade from the diploma course. And now they become more specialized in their field of preventive medicine. What you normally do, because I'm the teaching and learning, I normally plan for them their timetable, when they are supposed to be in lectures and when they are supposed to be for clinical skills. So it is always organized in the sense that what they normally have for the lectures, they'll also go for practicals. So it de mostly they have more time in practicals. And then like now the third year students who are about to finish the finalists, what happens is we normally send them to the field for 12 weeks before they come and do their final exams in other regional hospitals in Mubende, Hoima and Chiriandongo. In first year mostly they do basic nursing skills. So sometimes they do some lectures and in others they go for the nursing skills. So it is 50-50. They go for the lectures and also the nursing skills practicals. When they reach now, they come to second year, they also have some biomedical courses like the pharmacology and the microbiology, which they also go for pharmacy, pharmacy and also for the lab microbiology practices. We normal pattern with, with those referral hospitals because like, there is a partnership with the Mubende, Hoima and Kiriandongo where we normally take our final students to go and do their practice there before they come back for their final paper. And also we normally invite external examiners who come to do for them their clinical practice exams before they submit their names or we submit their names for the graduation if they have passed. When they finish the diploma, they come and start first year. Because when they come for first year, yeah, they do this, the MPP courses in a, in a in school of science and technology. And then they now progress as usual. Just like when you're going to do a bachelor in, in medicine, you have to start afresh. So they always come and begin afresh for four years. I would really advise and suggest to the government of Uganda if they could bring in internship program after the final years for the students so that they can get more skills before they are being placed to the health center because you know this course it is a practical course and students need the more practical skills sometimes when you send these students to these health centers and hospital during their training some of them don't grasp so much so they need that one year or six months internship course to do that for them to grasp more and become more competent furthermore we can encourage and we still have to encourage them to keep on doing their practice because everything practice makes perfect and you know prevention is better than cure rather than just waiting for patient to come to the clinic they should also do more of preventive measures and for me what i would do for that they should bring more they should bring the intense internship course for the students who have finished before they get registered in their professional that one i will really encourage for the government to do you know change change it is always hard but people at the end of it will accept because Bachelor of Clinical Medicine, if like the, my dean had said previously, when you go to most of these health centers, they are being manned by the clinical officers because most of those MOs for them, they don't want to come to the village places to help the sick. But now for them, we we'll just like to welcome these people because for, I can say like for healthcare, it is universal and people have to help each other. It is, only, it is not a one-man show. It is for people to help one another.
So I will encourage them to welcome these people and accept the Bachelor of Clinical Medicine. It is a good cause and it will help in preventing many diseases.